Well, the Matildas have unveiled their official squad ahead of the 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup, which kicks off in less than three weeks. Holly Edwards-Smith was at the announcement. Holly, who made the team? Well, it was a tough job that was left up to head coach Tony Gustafsson to take a 29-player preliminary team down to just 23. And today, the official Matildas team has been announced who will represent Australia in the green and gold at the 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup. Of course, included in the announcement is superstar Sam Kerr. She will be captaining the team in what will be her fourth Women's World Cup appearance. Other inclusions uh, include two players who have been selected for their fifth Women's World Cup in defender Claire Polkinghorne and goalkeeper Lydia Williams. Four players will be representing Australia for the fourth time. Caitlin Ford, Sam Kerr, of course, Emily Van Egmond and Tamika Yallop. Uh, now, of course, this was a tough decision. There had been some criticisms or concerns over a number of injury-ridden players who were selected in the preliminary team, but coach Tony Gustafsson is confident in this squad, but he is uh, saying that anyone who wasn't selected and the broader Matildas family will all be a part of what will make this team successful this year. As we're celebrating the ones selected, I also want to, um, you know, give a little bit of acknowledgement to the ones not selected. Um, it was tough. Uh, you are still with us. They are preparing uh, in the background in case something happens, and they'll always, always be part of the Matilda family. One of those players of concerns were Kaya Simon. She is a striker for the Matildas. She'll be making what will hopefully be her third appearance with the team. And she had concerns over an ACL injury, injury that she sustained in October. She has been selected and coach Tony G is hopeful that she will not only be at her best, but even better in a month's time for the first game against Ireland. Her and the Triple M team have done a phenomenal job to bring her where she's at right now. But she's not selected based on where she's at right now, eight months post-op. She's selected on where we think she can be in a month from now. The announcement today was made at the new home of the Matildas at La Trobe University and the hope is that they'll be able to use this ground in the lead-up uh, to the Women's World Cup that will be held across Australia and New Zealand, of course, in just over two weeks' time. Sam Kerr is extremely excited about playing in front of a home crowd. She even described this as possibly one of her career highlights, even though, of course, hasn't happened just yet. It's so much bigger than just this World Cup. Like, I've been playing for the Matildas for nearly half my life, or more than half my life now. So um, it's so much bigger than just the last four years. With the official squad now announced, the focus for the Matildas turns to their first FIFA World Cup match, which is against the Republic of Ireland in Sydney on July 20. Holly, thank you. And as for Sam Kerr, we're looking forward to seeing her too.